Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss on user acceptance testing. User ac acceptance testing is also called as a UAT. If you are visiting first time to Testing Shala YouTube channel, the Testing Shala YouTube channel is all about learning a software testing in an easy simple and manner where we publish various software testing uh, related uh, videos that would help you to learn uh, software testing in a simple and easy manner if you are not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to testing shala so that uh, you will be getting all the videos as and when we publish the testing related videos so that you can increase uh, your knowledge in the software testing let's not wait then let's move on to understand what is user acceptance testing if you can see uh, uh, this chart if you, so we will see a development phase happy testing phase will happen after testing phase there will be an uat that is user acceptance testing and after that there will be a production uh, where the application which is tested will put into the production for consumer usage so by looking into this chart you can easily understand this is the last phase of testing before we put it into production so this is the last phase of testing user acceptance testing is a last phase of uh, testing and normally the user acceptance testing being performed by the either client or a product management or an end user or a subject matter expert they will validate each and every requirement against the application just to ensure that whatever it has been uh, agreed upon means wh whatever it has been signed off in the beginning as part of requirement specification is that everything is being implemented in the application or not and whether the application is really working in those aspects so that if any of these tests which are not going to pass means any of these critical tests are not going to pass then chances are that we may not put into production until these issues are being resolved so that same issue doesn't go into face by the client so this is all about user acceptance testing the one is it's the last phase of testing second it will be done by the test will be done by clients or a product management we also call it as a pms in the product terminology and end users or an smes or a subject matter expert in that uh, application area who being tested it so let's understand what is being really validated in user acceptance testing the main focus is on validating functional and non-functional requirements the functional it could be block box testing or it could be white box uh, testing or it could be a gray box testing related requirements will be validated and also non-functional requirements such as performance scalability of the application benchmarking all even security aspects these are being validated from the non-functional requirement any requirement which is given as a non-functional requirement same thing will be validated against those non-functional requirements with the test scenarios also it will be validated on the data accuracy whether the whatever the data is being pumped or added or modified or deleted validated properly or not whether the application can really take that kind of uh, data when i'm doing various operations on the data uh, and still it comes uh, in a correct manner in the application the third is it also been validated for the usability because at the end of the day usability is very important for the application and uh, if usability is not good the customer or end user getting going to frustrate in using the application and the user acceptance criteria also look into this some of these aspects of usability once that is done uh, they will be validated against uh, installation 
whether uh, whatever the application has been implemented can i install in a right manner or if there is already installation is there and if this new version can i upgrade uh, the application or not without having a much trouble or without uh, having existing uh, data is going to last or uh, without uh, getting ampered on the ongoing uh, production uh, release or existing application should not uh, amper because of this upgrade so that will be completely validated uh, by the end users uh, to see everything really works or not and the last but not least is a documentation where end users will look on the installation guides or user guide or application guide and in a step by step manner just to ensure that everything is been documented in a proper manner so that if at the end of the day if any customers or client if uses this document in a line by line manner they should be able to perform those activities without having any trouble and if you validated all these criteria and if still application um, works successfully then it will be put into a production it will be put into production or it will be moved back to the development team so that they fix the issues and they return it back to the testing once they fixes the issues and testing will happen once the testing is done again it will go to uat just to ensure that important or critical items are not getting uh, lost and it directly goes to production and it creates a huge uh, problems in the client area i hope you understood this user acceptance testing and its concept what all the things being validated in uh, user acceptance testing if you like this video click on like button if you would like to get similar kind of videos in near future as and when we publish the new videos please subscribe to testing shala youtube channel and click on bell notification so that any of our future videos will be in your inbox which is completely free of cost to you thanks for watching this video bye for now take care